The flyweight showdown, Pantoja vs. Asakura. Get ready for fireworks. This is the fight that everyone has been waiting for. A clash of titans in the flyweight division. The atmosphere is electric, and the stakes couldn't be higher. UFC 310 is bringing the heat with an explosive flyweight championship bout. Fans from around the world have their eyes glued to this event, anticipating a battle for the ages. The octagon is set, the fighters are ready, and the energy in the arena is palpable. Alexander Pantoja, the reigning king, will defend his title against the surging challenger, Kai Asakura. Pantoja has been a dominant force in the flyweight division, showcasing his incredible grappling skills and unyielding determination. On the other hand, Asakura has been on a meteoric rise, known for his explosive striking and relentless pursuit of victory. This is a fight that has fans on the edge of their seats. The weigh-ins were intense, with both fighters showing immense respect, but also a burning desire to come out on top. The anticipation has been building for weeks, and now, the moment of truth is finally here. Both fighters are known for their aggressive styles and never-say-die attitudes. Pantoja's grappling is second to none, often overwhelming his opponents with his relentless pressure. Asakura, however, brings a different challenge with his lightning-fast strikes and knockout power. This is a classic matchup of grappler versus striker, and it's anyone's guess who will emerge victorious. This fight is more than just a title defense. It's a battle for legacy, pride, and the right to be called the best in the world. Both fighters have trained tirelessly, pushing their bodies to the limit in preparation for this moment. The octagon is their battlefield, and they are ready to leave it all on the line. It's a clash of styles and personalities. Pantoja's calm and calculated approach contrasts sharply with Asakura's fiery and aggressive demeanor. This dynamic adds another layer of intrigue to the fight, making it not just a physical contest, but a mental one as well. Will Pantoja's relentless grappling be enough to overcome Asakura's devastating striking power? Pantoja's ability to control the fight on the ground could be the key to his victory, but he must be wary of Asakura's striking, which can end the fight in an instant. The strategy and execution will be crucial in determining the outcome, or will Asakura shock the world and dethrone the champion? Asakura's journey to this point has been nothing short of spectacular, and a victory here would cement his place in UFC history. The world is watching and the fighters are ready. This is Pantoja vs. Asakura, a fight that will be remembered for years to come. The reigning king, Alexander Pantoja, a name that resonates with power, skill, and an unyielding spirit. Alexander the Cannibal Pantoja is at the top of the flyweight mountain. His journey to the pinnacle of the UFC flyweight division has been nothing short of extraordinary. He's the champion for a reason. Pantoja's rise to the top is a testament to his relentless dedication, rigorous training, and an indomitable will to win. Pantoja is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt with some of the most dangerous ground skills in the division. His mastery of Brazilian jiu-jitsu is evident in every fight, where he seamlessly transitions between positions, always looking for an opportunity to finish the fight. He's a submission specialist who can finish the fight in an instant. Whether it's a rear naked choke, an armbar, or a guillotine, Pantoja's submission game is second to none. But don't underestimate his striking. Pantoja has honed his striking skills to perfection, making him a well-rounded fighter who can stand and trade with the best in the division. Pantoja has knockout power too. His striking is not just about precision but also about power, capable of ending fights with a single punch. Pantoja is coming off an impressive win over Brandon Moreno at UFC 290. This fight was a true test of his skills and determination. He dominated Moreno, showcasing his world-class grappling and earning a split decision victory. The fight was a back-and-forth battle, but Pantoja's superior grappling and relentless pressure made the difference. This victory cemented his place as the champion. It was a defining moment in his career, proving to the world that he is the undisputed king of the flyweight division. He's hungry to prove himself once again and defend his title against all comers. Pantoja's journey is far from over. With each fight, he continues to evolve, always striving to be better, faster, and stronger. His training regimen is grueling, pushing his body and mind to the limits. But for Pantoja, it's all worth it. The thrill of victory, the roar of the crowd, and the satisfaction of knowing he's the best drive him to keep pushing forward. As he prepares for his next title defense, one thing is certain. Alexander Pantoja is a force to be reckoned with, and his reign as champion is just beginning.
From Risen Star to UFC contender Kai Asakura, Kai Asakura is a name that strikes fear into the hearts of his opponents. He's a dynamic striker with knockout power in both hands. Asakura made a name for himself in Japan's Risen Fighting Federation. He became a champion there, showcasing his devastating striking skills. Now Asakura is ready to conquer the UFC. He's transitioned seamlessly to the flyweight division, racking up impressive wins. His fighting style is all about speed and aggression. Asakura is always looking for the finish, whether it's with a knockout or a TKO. A clash of styles Pantoja's grappling versus Asakura's striking. This fight is a classic clash of styles grappler versus striker. On one side we have Pantoja, a master of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, known for his ability to control and submit his opponents on the ground. On the other side, we have Asakura, a striking specialist with a reputation for his knockout power and precision. Pantoja will be looking to take the fight to the ground, where he can utilize his world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu. His grappling skills are second to none, and once he gets his opponents to the mat, he can dominate with his superior technique and control. Pantoja's ability to transition between submissions and maintain top control makes him a formidable opponent for any striker. Asakura, on the other hand, will want to keep the fight standing. His striking is his greatest weapon, and he has the ability to end the fight with a single punch or kick. Asakura's striking arsenal includes powerful punches, devastating kicks, and precise combinations that can overwhelm his opponents. He'll look to land his devastating strikes and score a knockout. Asakura's knockout power is well documented, and he has the ability to change the course of a fight in an instant with his explosive striking. His ability to read his opponent's movements and capitalize on openings is what makes him such a dangerous striker. The key to victory for Pantoja will be to close the distance and take Asakura down. He needs to avoid getting caught in Asakura's striking range and use his grappling to neutralize Asakura's power. Pantoja's ability to close the distance and secure takedowns will be crucial in this fight. He'll need to avoid Asakura's power shots and get the fight to the ground where he has the advantage. Pantoja's defensive skills will be put to the test as he tries to navigate Asakura's striking and find opportunities to take the fight to the mat. Asakura needs to keep the fight at range. His footwork and ability to control the distance will be key in preventing Pantoja from closing in and executing his grappling game plan. Asakura's ability to move in and out of range and use his striking to keep Pantoja at bay will be critical. He'll need to use his footwork and striking to keep Pantoja at bay. Asakura's strategy will revolve around maintaining his distance, using his footwork to avoid takedowns, and landing strikes to keep Pantoja on the defensive. If he can execute this game plan effectively, he has a good chance of securing a victory. Both fighters have been training hard for this matchup, each honing their skills to exploit the other's weaknesses. Pantoja has been working on his takedown entries and submission transitions, while Asakura has been sharpening his striking accuracy and defensive wrestling. Their coaches have devised game plans tailored to their strengths, and it will be fascinating to see how these strategies play out in the octagon. The anticipation is high and fans are eager to see which style will prevail. This fight promises to be an exciting battle of contrasting styles, with Pantoja's grappling prowess going head-to-head -head with Asakura's striking power. It's a matchup that has all the ingredients for a thrilling contest, and fans won't want to miss a moment of the action. The stakes couldn't be higher for this fight. Pantoja is looking to cement his legacy as one of the greatest flyweight champions of all time. A successful title defense against a dangerous opponent like Asakura would be a huge feather in his cap. For Asakura, this is his chance to shock the world and become a UFC champion. A victory over Pantoja would be the biggest win of his career and solidify his status as a top flyweight in the world. Co-main event fireworks Rachmanov vs. Gary UFC 310 isn't just about the flyweight title fight, the co-main event is just as exciting. Undefeated welterweight prospect Shavkat Rachmanov will face off against the always tough Ian Gary. This is a battle between two of the most promising young fighters in the welterweight division. Rachmanov is a finishing machine. He's won all 17 of his professional fights by stoppage. Gary is a skilled striker with a knack for exciting fights. This fight is guaranteed to be a barn burner. Fans are in for a treat with these two warriors going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Predictions and possibilities. Who will emerge victorious? Predicting the outcome of a fight is never easy, especially in a fight as closely matched as this one. 
both Pantoja and Asakura have the skills and determination to win. It's going to come down to who can implement their game plan more effectively. If Pantoja can take Asakura down and utilize his grappling, he has a good chance of retaining his title. If Asakura can keep the fight standing and land his power shots, he could pull off the upset. One thing is for sure, this fight is going to be a war. UFC 310, a night of unmissable action. UFC 310 is shaping up to be an unforgettable night of fights. The main event between Pantoja and Asakura is a can't-miss fight. It's a clash of styles, personalities, and legacies. The co-main event between Rachmanov and Gary is just as exciting. It's a battle between two of the most promising young fighters.